Heart attacks, which are also called acute coronary syndromes, are caused by a blood clot forming inside a coronary artery. So we very commonly use anti-blood clotting medications to try and help prevent this. Around 10% of patients will actually still go on to have another heart attack or even die within the next year. And we sometimes try and use stronger anti-blood clotting medications for this. But that can actually cause a patient to bleed, and bleeding can actually be life-threatening, and in some cases fatal. To solve this problem, I'm investigating new medications that help to prevent thrombosis, which is an abnormal type of blood clotting that happens inside a coronary artery. The Birmingham platelet group really was instrumental in the discovery of the platelet GP6 receptor. So this seems to have a major role in causing blood clotting inside a coronary artery, but it seems to actually have very little role in helping to prevent you from bleeding. So we're investigating several new drugs that will help to inhibit this receptor because we think this might provide additional benefit for patients with heart attacks without causing this downside of bleeding. So in the lab we can do cutting edge assessment of platelet function so we can really look at how these drugs affect how platelets work and we can mimic what happens in a coronary artery by using microfluidics. We can look to see how it affects platelets sticking to each other and we can look to see how this affects platelet activation. We're also in the process of developing new clinical trials as well that will investigate these drugs and help to see whether these drugs prevent heart attacks from happening and also to see whether these drugs may actually reduce the damage done by a heart attack as well.